Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. So AVAX has dropped a little further since uh, yesterday, but has not taken out a previous swing low here. Um, just want to show you here the entire move um, that I forecast at the moment. Um, there is a reasonable chance for a larger, more pronounced B wave correction. The idea at the moment is that we had an A wave complete. We are now in the B wave, which to be honest, might already have completed. It might extend in a larger B wave, no problem. And then we should see that C wave to the downside. Um, it depends now on the movement. If the price drops now from here, it would take a break below $31.25 to confirm that this C wave is indeed unfolding. So again, A wave, B wave, C wave. I can actually move that support area a little bit to the left because this is literally, um, it might not, you know, obviously disregard the timeline. Yeah, this is not about how long something takes. Mm, it's all about the price. So zooming in a little bit, you can see first of all that if this is really a larger pullback, then the first observation we can make is that the price has so far respected our parameters. The price, first of all, reacted to and respected the support zone here. I then gave you a resistance area. The price reacted to that one as well. And that means for this structure, A, B, the minimum requirements are fulfilled. So if the price now keeps dropping, breaks below $31.25, that would be confirmation that, yeah, indeed, this C wave to the downside is unfolding. Already, if we zoom in a little bit, the break above, uh, sorry, below this last swing low at $33.40 would already be a good indication that the C wave has started, but it literally takes a break below the red line to confirm it. At the moment, because the price hasn't made a lower low yet and hasn't break, broken key support, it's technically possible that this B wave extends a little bit. So B wave might sit here. B waves can even overshoot. Okay, but until I have evidence for that, it's not what I'm primarily watching for. It would be my alternative. Would be my alternative at the moment. I'm um, I'm watching if support levels can break. But yeah, I will not rule out a high B wave. Absolutely. I mean, we have to sometimes consider obviously the correlations in the crypto market as well. I see that Bitcoin could start for could make for example another smaller marginally lower low. Yep, AVEX for example as well. There's still plenty of space before breaking below that red line and then Bitcoin could do a B wave. So also considering here on the AVEX chart that this might be an A wave and we might still be in the B wave which is just extending a little bit and then the C wave comes down. Okay, and bear in mind the B wave can overshoot. This is why I say it really takes a break below 31.25 to confirm that this C wave is actually unfolding. Overall, this is however the structure I assume is playing out. What is impossible to predict is this B wave, how it's un unfolding, you know. B waves can turn into triangles. This could even turn into a, into a B wave triangle. So let me show you, for example, um, it would lead to the same outcome, but it could be a triangle which is forming as an A, B, C, D, E structure, and then down. Basically the B wave would then sit here but it's way too early to confirm a triangle. What we typically start with is just to track an ABC structure. And um, ABC structures are typically the most common corrections, but they typically morph into either triangles or into, yeah, for example, a B wave can be a triangle, um, or into WXY corrections, you know, more complex corrections. We always have to consider that. But that's, um, that's, you know, obviously at the moment we can only really analyze what we see right now. And what do we see? Well, we see three waves up, A, B, C. So a three wave move up suggests trend continuation in this case to the downside. And, but we need to also understand that an A, B, C structure can always turn into a larger A, B, C. So it wouldn't change anything, it would literally just delay the move to the downside. Now, if we zoom into the support area, once this move down really is unfolding in wave C, $25.57 is going to be the next main support, then $20.78 and $16.89. Uh, 
Um, just here, looking at the very short term, the move here looks a little bit like a bearish flag, but it's getting a little bit of momentum, so it's difficult to say because we haven't taken the previous swing low out. Um, it just feels a little bit like we might extend the B wave. Okay, it's just that development because the move down is only in three waves. It might get a four and a five, yeah, which would be further evidence that indeed we are coming down because then we have five waves down would be a small wave one. Then we get three waves up would be a small wave two, three wa uh, five waves down again and so on and would, you know, we but I have only three waves down. If it stays like that, then we are extending the B wave. And in that case, $48, no, $42.71 and $45.80 are the next resistance levels. Besides that, not much more to add. So I hope you liked the update about AVEX. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.